This guy could be a senator, okay? And he would be a senator on the backs of Republican votes. Um, here's an interview he gave uh, yesterday morning to Fox News. And um, he said that a possible solution to school shootings would be a department that can look at young men that's looking at women that's looking at social media. I mean, take a listen. See, there is a person wielding that weapon. You know, Cain killed Abel. You know, and uh, you know, and that's a problem that we have. And I said, what we need to do is look into how we can stop those things. You know, he talked about doing a disinformation. What about getting a department that can look at young men that's looking at uh, women that's looking at uh, just social media? What? Okay. What about getting a department that's looking at young men? that's looking at women, that's looking at social media. This could be one of 100 senators. All right, so I wanted to get into this uh, fascinating clip of uh, David Pakman going into examining Herschel Walker as a specific politician. And David Pakman goes into outlining how Herschel Walker exemplifies this sort of new wave of Donald Trump Republican right figures. This could be the Marjorie Taylor Greens, this could be the Lauren Boberts, and as well, of course, Herschel Walker, and as well, of course, let alone media figures, the Diamond and Silk, Candace Owens, a lot of these individuals that have manifested post-Trump and otherwise were relatively non-concerned with politics prior to Trump in 2020, which is often articulated by these individuals. Therefore, this new wave of right-wing media, and specifically in this case politicians, often articulate a political reality that's vague in terms of platitudes. For example, this is what Trump was known for in terms of superficially often talking about bringing back the jobs, what happened to the jobs. But of course, when it came to jobs, and more specifically when it came to revitalizing the economy, especially in a vision of sort of vague industrialization that he was pointing to, that we're going to bring back the jobs, I don't know what jobs he was talking about, most indirectly framed it as bringing back the steel mill and manufacturing sectors of the economy. But of course, none of that came to fruition. And specifically, he did not correspond in revitalizing the economy in terms of establishing new and diverse trade deals that catered specifically to America. But nonetheless, that's what we often find, especially in terms of these sort of right-wing figures, often these vague platitudes of superficial rhetoric of populism, but lacking when it comes to specificity. And an individual like Herschel Walker exemplifies that. But the even more deeper analysis with Herschel Walker is that he exemplifies the Trump rhetoric, but it's incoherent rhetoric. Don't know if this is specifically due to his football days, some point to that, David Pakman mentions that. But Herschel Walker has been articulating a political reality as such in terms of being incoherent for a while now. This is not a sort of this year type of analysis. But nonetheless, due to the fact that he aligns himself with Trump, despite his incoherence, despite his incoherence, He's going to get votes merely based on the fact that he's aligning with Trump. And that's the problem because that's what exemplifies how low, how low, 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 low the parameters have become when it comes to becoming a politician, let alone even a media figure, but specifically in this case, politician. That's how low low the parameter has become, which is now corresponded, of course, in the Marjorie Taylor Greens, has corresponded, of course, 
in the Lauren Boberts and might even correspond in the Herschel Walkers.